Firstly, I, I think, uh, you know, having visited National Parks and Wildlife sites recently and met staff, it's very noticeable, the enthusiasm and the fact that there's staff there at all. Because I remember back in 2016, being on the radio, the 2016 general election actually, battling to say we need to protect nature, we're a biodiversity crisis, we have a nature crisis. It wasn't as topical at that point, but anyway, I was battling for it anyway. And I was on with a government minister, the government minister of the day, and he said, well, should the National Parks and Wildlife Service, they look after nature. But I came back to him and I said, I think their funding has been cut by something up to 70% over the last couple of years. There's no recruitment. Uh, there's no planning for that organisation. They've been passed from one department to the other. How can we expect them to, to be able to do anything? And when you fast forward six years from that, that was only 2016, I think, and those figures you've given us in your opening statement there, that the funding in 2020 has gone from 28.7 million four years later to almost 70 million, that the staff recruitment you've gone from 350 or to 537. And when you see European nature, reg nature restoration regulations passed and the nature restoration plan that we're going to have to put together between now and 2026, backed by that 3.1 billion climate and nature fund, where you see the National Biodiversity Action Plan put on a statutory footing, something that we look for for a long time. So when you see everything coming together like that, you see the resources, you see the support. Um, I think it's right the Parks and Wildlife Service are back in the Custom House again. What does that do for morale? What does that do for an organisation? And how does that help in, in that strategic planning? I mean, and obviously, it has to give you a lot of comfort, but a lot of uh, confidence going forward to say, we've got this funding in place. We know this is trajectory that we're on, does it help with recruitment? Does it help to put all those uh, actions into place? Um, thank you, uh, uh, Chair. I think I remember seeing some of those representations as well. Uh, absolutely, the, the, the National Parks and Wildlife Service is at a point of inflection. Uh, when the review was completed um, in, in, in 2022, um, we had a certain, I suppose, perspective on what was needed. I can say to this committee that that has actually changed uh, significantly. The nature restoration law absolutely changes the basis on which we go, f we, we, we go forward. It, um, it, it, it just ups the ante very, very significantly in terms of the international and legal obligations on us. But also in terms of the opportunity, and Minister Noonan has spoke about that, um, it changes, I suppose, that the paradigm with which we engage with nature is changing and has changed. And that's to the credit uh, and of, of, of committees like this, it's certainly to the credit of, 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 of the Oireachtas, who has given a significant amount of time to debate on nature. And we've seen that change. Usually we spend a lot of time here servicing, appropriately servicing the democratic process. Um, we didn't. Uh, uh, because there were there were other priorities, I can't really comment to the resource challenge. Your numbers are not incorrect, um, um, because that would bring me into uh, the political realm, if you like. But your numbers are not incorrect. So there was a significant amount of catching up to be done in terms of uh, the uh, financial resource, but above all, in terms of of the human resource and the capacity. Um, I can say there's still some work to be done. Um, the organisation that stands still gets passed out. And absolutely, the, the, there is a point of inflection. It has shifted. So that's why we've looked forward in the context of uh, the International Comparators Report, which, uh, which we, we will talk to, uh, and, the project, the, the, and that takes account of what that growth in ambit challenge is going to look like. Um, and it is challenging, I won't say that, but, but colleagues are excited by that but they're not unaware of the, of the challenge. Um, the the, the um, financial challenge is, is always there. You, you know, the nature of the, of the public financing system is that you're in each year in the context of the estimates, uh, fighting for what you can get, um, and then doing the best with that. Um, and that, that certainly needs to continue uh, on the uh, growth path it's been on, especially in the context of the increased demands on the National Parks and, and Wildlife Service, which your colleagues have, have aired, and the complexity of those uh, challenges. 
and balancing uh, the various views and coming up with the right outcomes uh, for farmers, for nature and, 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 and for landowners and for our society. Uh, and that is challenging. Thank you for the generosity of your comments uh, about colleagues. We have grown. Um, we've certainly changed our public facing uh, piece. Uh, being established as an executive agency within the government department is hugely helpful uh, in, in that regard. Uh, the recruitment challenge, challenge continues. Uh, I think we anticipate a further 75 people coming into the organization be, be, uh, yeah, this, year, yeah. this year. Um, and the, 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 the pathway that the International Comparators Report points out to us by comparing us with organizations in, in, in similar areas um, abroad, <coughs> Uh, and by looking at the demands around N and nature restoration law, around our regulatory functions, around our presentation functions, around our conservation functions, and about, around our international obligations functions, and there's still a significant amount of work to be done in relation to our natura sites, a huge amount of work to be done in relation to our natura sites. So they're looking at the organisation potentially doubling in size by, by, by 2033. Um, and in the context, for instance, of directly managing 150,000 hectares, of high nature value. Um, in the context of, of the 11 uh, articles of the uh, nature restoration law, which will impact on us, in the context of 600 natura sites, um, many in need of significant investment on measures, that's, that figure uh, has to be seen in, in, in that context. Um, I think the view, we have an excellent relationship with the Department of Public expenditure and reform, they see significant value in what we're achieving with the resources that we have. But we are very, very conscious that uh, we, it's a challenging space. Uh, and we will certainly continue to do our best with what resources uh, we get, uh, Chair. Yeah.